Well, the Route 66 of the Dust Bowl 30 still exists in pictures and old films. Tar paper shacks, the log cabins, and primitive campsites have long since fallen in, except for one spot in the town of Eric. And you know, Galen Culver went there. He just got back from Sam's Town, a new spot with an old look. Between Chicago and Los Angeles, Route 66 tells the story of an American century in many forms. There is something, something here. But none quite like Sam's Town. This property? A new attraction that harkens back a century to the very vision of a man born and raised in its path. When I get a vision in my mind, I can't help but I got to see it come true. I got to make it come, come real, come alive. Sam Hagen's latest project began over the summer. Yeah, the old dairy freeze set right here on this concrete here. He took tornado damaged scrap and built Sam's town with his own hands. This is the old original workbench that was in the garage. It's tornado blowed away. The latest addition to what he's built already. And then just like stepping stones, one thing leads to another. And A very Route 66 idea to get traffic to slow down. And my motto is slow down America. We're going too fast, in my opinion. Bicyclists are especially welcome. Well, I built these campsites. His single-handed efforts went to building what he calls the Mother Road's only rest stop just for them. They put their tent up right here. When we first met Sam 20 years ago, he was a talented photographer, then a scrapper who moved a one-room schoolhouse to his property, then who built a log cabin for a total of $7. You've done this on a, on a, on a budget. And when I say budget, I, I don't know exactly what that means. <laughs> you can explain it. <laughs> Anything to make a dollar besides the wrong way, you know, it's got to be legal. Sam's Town is a continuation of those efforts, which now includes the Seven Ricks cabin because that's how much firewood it took to build. Trailers built for campers. They come in here. Even a wine barn built from a chicken coop. They can have a glass of wine. Got no record player in here. His wine cellar is a cistern with a hand crank. Does that keep it cool? Yeah, it keeps pretty cold right there, just feel that. Sam's Town is campground, off the books, air, be, and just be. No corporate, no code, just a hand-painted shingle and a vision like no other. In Eric Galen Culver News 4, is this a great state or what? And Sam's Town is located a block west of Sheb Woolley Avenue, right along the old route to Texola. Hagen is usually around and usually very happy to show what he's built over the past six months with some unique names there. Is seven this, Rick Shack? Yeah, so that, because it took seven Ricks to build. Yeah, I love that. And Sheb Woolley Boulevard, you can't beat that. It's good stuff. <laughs>